Maybe it's me, so hopefully you can help. Here is the inside of my sealer. I have chicken thighs that I'm going to put in. I have way more than two inches on the top, as you can see. I'm putting it inside the chamber, not over top of it, like it says. Pressing down, sealing it. I'm gonna use moist because it's chicken. Oh, that's the other thing. Your plug is horrible. I have to jiggle it just to get it to go. Okay, moist, and it starts to seal a little bit. Not much, not quickly. give up and give me an E1 air. Because it's not really vacuuming and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And then I'm going to show you my old one, my Weston and how well that does. There we go, E1. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this, take these out, because this is the probably 10th time I have tried to do this. So I'm switching this one out. I'm grabbing my Weston, pulling it up. Plugging that one in, unplugging yours, plugging in the Weston. The other thing I like about the Weston is it has an on-off button. Yours does not. If it's plugged in, it's on. I'm putting it into the vacuum sealer, just like so. Pushing down, just like I do for you. I need both hands, so I'll have to push for a second. Click. I hit start. Oh, I turn it on. I hit start. And watch. Look how fast. Look how good. Seals in like no time. I mean, it's insane compared to yours. on both sides. Gotta put it down because I need both hands. It's sealed. Perfect. <laughs>